We all have dreams of becoming the next Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates, but most people will blame their lack of capital for not starting a business. Now here's an interesting truth. Money is not the first requirement to start a business. To start a business, you need a workable idea and the willingness to work. Yes, a willingness to really work, because it's usually tough in the first few months and maybe years. Many people have not started a business because they're waiting on that big payday or until they save a million dollars, which may never happen. Thankfully, whilst you may never access one million dollars in funding, you can still start a really profitable business with a little capital. With that said, here are seven business ideas that you can start with less than $10. Number one, house flipping. Whenever the subject of real estate investment is raised, most people quickly discard it because there is a consensus that you need a lot of money to invest in real estate. Well, it's true, but there is no golden standard that says investors need to fund a deal with their own money. And this is where it gets really interesting. Flipping houses without your own money is entirely possible. Not only that, there is a community of investors that are ready to lend you money to complete your first deal. All you need to do is convince them. House flipping is a quick profit strategy where you buy a piece of property at a discounted price, improve its quality, and then offload it at a better price. The main goal here is to buy low and sell high. If you have a good credit score and integrity that speaks for you, you can easily source for funds for your first deal from private lenders, wholesaling, home equity, seller financing, or by partnering with house flipping investors. Number two, repair and skill-based services. Let's be honest, going to school does not guarantee instant employment or life at a beach in Miami. Your skills can, however, take you places. Like you should already know, I built my entire life around freelancing and I have never really had a need to take a white collar job. If you are looking for a low cost business idea, why not build a business around your current skill? There are many services you can render to people without the need to fully set up a workshop or your own sophisticated tools. From hard skills like computer and laptop repairs, repair of home appliances like faulty microwaves, irons, kettles and ovens, to soft skills like graphic design, copywriting and video editing. You can start a business with your current tools. The general assumption here is that you already have a laptop. Do not be afraid to venture out. Put your brain under control and convert your knowledge into profit as you explore the skills you have acquired. Number 3. Content Creation and Ghostwriting if anyone has ever described you as a wordsmith, you have the ability to earn your source of livelihood with your pen and a little ink. I personally believe that your natural giftings should be a pointer for your skill development effort. To be a content creator, you'll need an impeccable ability to convert words into sentences and sentences into wholesome ideas that are understandable. There are many websites, blogs and YouTube channels that are in need of intelligent ghostwriters. An exceptionally good place to start is on Fiverr, Bury your self-doubt and register. You might just be in business. Number four, social media marketing. Social media is quickly becoming one of the most important aspects of digital marketing. If you have a flair for living on the internet, you have a skill that requires zero capital to start a business with. Many businesses know that brands that ignore social media will die, but due to limited time for execution, they're usually in need of digital marketers to help create a vibrant page that promotes sales. You can use your skill to help businesses to engage with their audience. This will involve publishing great content on the company's social media pages, listening to and engaging their followers, analyzing results, and running social media advertisements. Create your business page, create a solid and convincing portfolio, and start by messaging 100 businesses that you think may need your service. Number five, personal concierge service. Don't we all have mornings where we wake up and don't feel like doing anything? I do, and if I had the opportunity, I just want to lay in my bed. Personally, I won't mind hiring a concierge service once or twice a month. There is an increase in the demand for personal assistants, errand services, and lifestyle managers. Concierge services have grown to become a big and profitable business. If you decide to start a concierge service, bear in mind that it will involve running all sorts of errands as long as is legal, moral, and ethical. You will need to have a crisp sense of service, an eye for details, and a remarkable list of referrals. If your customers are happy with your service, they might each tell six friends who can tell 6,000 friends. I am very big on always telling family and friends about your business. Don't 
also forget to share your new service within your network. You may be surprised at who needs your services. Number six, website design and management. Still talking about skills, you can start a web design and management company with zero dollars. With a laptop and some coding skills, you can start designing websites for small businesses. Templates on platforms like WordPress have made the process even a lot easier. With builders like DIVI, Massive Dynamic, and Elementor, you can build a very decent drag and drop website from watching YouTube videos. It gets even more interesting if you reach a retainership agreement with your clients to manage their sites after building it. They will pay you for easy fixes like updating plugins and uploading new content. Number seven, blogging. With platforms like WordPress, Blogspot, and Wix offering free hosting, it is possible to start your blogging journey with zero dollars. Your capital for opening and running a blog is your mastery of words, researchability, availability of phone or laptop, and of course, time. You can develop a niche of your interest and research on interesting topics. If your content is relevant to your target audience, you will gain their confidence and be able to monetize your blog with AdSense, sponsorship, or affiliate marketing. Do you now believe that you can start a business with little capital? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to know when we upload part two of this video.